world revamp hints are everywhere. We have brand new player skeletons, we have a new hints of the Scarlet Monastery, Nexremus, Colomance, Stromgard. There are a bunch of new Halloween and New Year models, new player animations have been added, new guards, dozens of new Blood Elf, Human Orc buildings are here as well. A bunch of these have been added to the game build but are not yet available. A ton of old world NPCs have been updated and all of this is hinting that a revamp is happening right behind the scenes and no one is really paying attention. So let's take a look at every single data mine hint that we have. Some as recent as even a few days ago as there are so many of them that I could barely fit them into this video. Well, it took us over 10,000 years to bring peace to Azeroth from the burning region, but you can bring control to your PC with a few clicks and browse like an actual lord. Regular browsers are pretty boring and you really need better as a gamer and with Opera GX you can enhance your PC performance for gaming with the browser open by limiting CPU and RAM usage which is perfect when you're in game and you don't want to close the tabs. However, check out how you can turn your browser medieval. You can add sounds so that it sounds like you're writing a scroll with an awesome animated dragon which adds plus 20 on browsing like an actual lord. The coolest thing is that Opera GX offers endless customization and mods so this is just one of them. Now, switching your main browser Browser is super painful, but you can go from zero to hero in a second as Opera GX offers an import tool that can make this super simple so your history, bookmarks, and cookies transfer in a second and even all Chrome extensions are completely compatible. Alright, so if this is to end in fire, we can all download the Opera GX together and you can do so with my link in the description below. Check out Opera GX. So you guys have probably already heard a bunch of these revamp videos, I mean I personally made a bunch myself so I don't really want to speculate on what could be happening or some really far out hints but for this video I really just want to look at the evidence as there is literally just so much new evidence, some even as new as a few days ago that is going around and I think it is almost impossible at this point for some type of a revamp to not be happening. Now if you guys are following the news, if you guys are playing the game you're probably missing out on this stuff as it's not really revealed anywhere. Occasionally you can find some updates on the official MMO champion threads but most of this info is from data miners and Blizzard has really been working around the clock on these kind of behind the scenes. Plus a lot of these updates are not that important to be mentioned but they definitely do add up over time. Every single patch, every single mini patch they're adding a bunch of new things and a lot of the time these new things have absolutely nothing to do with the current content that is going on. In fact they're actually adding a bunch of these new models, animation, textures and they just add them to builds, they're not even in the actual game so you can't even actually see them but based on like 50 things they had added this past year or so I think we may seriously be on to something here. Some quick example, something they quite recently added that completely just went under the radar are a whole bunch of new and updated skeletons. I mean this is such a minor feature but they seriously already look better. It still isn't sure to what extent this update happened but all the playable races have been covered and honestly it looks significantly better than the ones that were available in the past. Furthermore, only a few weeks back they added a whole bunch of new Fellhound models as well as imps with a bunch of new variations and if you may remember they have been updating these pets and class minions like non-stop. Uh, you may be thinking, I mean, who cares? Like, how is this really any evidence of a revamp? But my theory is something that I mentioned in the previous video that I've made, and that is that I don't really feel like they're going to do another Cataclysm style revamp, at least not on the scale as they did in the past. Currently, there's just so many continents, I mean every few years we're discovering some new hidden zone. So many other zones are available that I just feel like it will be way too much work to revamp everything in a single expansion but I feel like this revamp is going to be happening subtly and they're going to update it bit by bit every single patch and every single minor patch that over like 2-3 years like a time period you're going to notice a significant difference when compared to earlier versions of WoW. In fact you can already notice this not just with the Dragonfire expansion but even with the previous ones. Should they build a bunch of new mobs and new mob concepts for the Dragon Isles but they also refreshed like dozens of old ones over the years and they have already literally replaced them in the old world. For example, the gnolls have been a part of Warcraft since the RTS games and they have been completely updated with brand new models with Dragonflight. We now got a bunch of new dragon models as well as well as Draconid that have been here pretty much since the classic and Wrath of the Lich King. The exact same thing can be said for the centaur. The previous centaur were not only ugly looking due to their lore but because their models 
levels were literally from like 2003 but now they look significantly more developed and significantly more up to date same thing can be said for the furbog the best thing about this has also been the wildlife and all these animals throughout the world of azeroth you have definitely noticed this with all these animal models that have constantly been updating over the years and they're just all replaced all the time sometimes they definitely stick out especially in like these super old zones now seeing the blizzard has been doing that let's use the exact same logic and apply it to big stuff and that is actual environmental models and changes to the old zone something that everyone is looking forward to that we have data mined as well we literally data mined dozens of brand new assets that have been added to the wow build that are still not available in the game even prior to dragonfight a whole bunch of blood elven assets from ships to books have been created from scratch and some have been added to the dragon expedition camp on the dragon isles but a lot of these have not yet been added and just compare the quality of those to the sad state of silver moon that it is in you can imagine it wouldn't really be hard to create a few more and just update the whole of silver moon and just revamp the entirety of quota last now best of all this is happening for a bunch of human as well as orc settlements as well we have data mined a whole lot of these brand new orc and human buildings that are not yet in the game that look significantly better than what is in the old world furthermore in the brand new mega dungeon in 10.1.5 there is a boss called the time loss battlefield that shows a battle between the two factions and there are literally brand new human and orc buildings that were added that are not yet available anywhere you know blizzard is known to reuse assets from a future expansion that is currently in the progress of being built and they use it in the current one in fact that is pretty much exactly how we leak dragon fight i think it would be a bit weird for them to spend all this time building these significant assets and these human and orc buildings for a relatively minor boss in a dungeon in a mini patch which could mean they're just reusing assets they plan to eventually introduce into the old world in fact so many of these building assets have been collected over the past year or two that it wouldn't even take a lot of effort for blizzard to just replace the old ones with the new ones they wouldn't even have to create new zones from scratch and these buildings are already in the game it's just a matter of switching new models however you guys probably already heard about this this is like 10 percent of the entire puzzle and 10 percent of the entire new information blizzard has been working on a bunch of customization features for all the characters from new hair to new eye colors to scars and these things are being added patch after patch that develop characters further and really makes the customization more interesting we have also data mined a whole bunch of new helmets and new hats that are super cool looking as well now all of these are just minor quality of life features but they have also been building new animations behind the scenes that a lot of people have completely missed and now i don't know if you guys saw it but there are some brand new cooking animations that were created for the playable characters we have a bunch of these new sitting animations these super cool leaning animations that were only added a few builds back and no one really looked at them none of this is related to the current storyline or what is going on so all of this seems to be a concentrated behind the scenes effort to keep the world of warcraft up to date and to almost completely get rid of the 20 year old parts of the game that are still around to a pretty great extent now as you may know blizzard has gotten significantly better at building cities like significantly since cataclysm which is why towns like suramar are just so outrageously better looking than orgamar and stormwind well both orgamar and stormwind have been slightly updated with the trade post they have moved a few things around however new things are also happening you may have noticed a few months back just completely out of the blue with no context they created a whole brand new model of the dwarf city god and now in a recent build they also just added the brand new dwarf engine model as well as i said it's important to know that none of this is related to dragonflight content as far as we know and if they're updating these vital parts of the city it could be a hint for big city updates that could be happening soon now even more importantly and unrelated to characters or cities they out of the blue started updating these holiday events that have been around in the game since forever with new models and with new features for example there are a whole bunch of new halloween assets there have been some scarlet monastery updates as recent as a few weeks ago and we have also data mined all these brand new year's models that have been added to the recent build and once again as i said there is no indication that this has absolutely anything to do with dragonfly now all of this is just one part of the puzzle and i think it would really be crazy not to see all of this being connected hints for the new expansion are all over the place as well they moved the location of kalendor on the map a few months back and they did it once again only a few weeks ago time skip has already been implemented at the start of dragonfire with all these significant changes and five years passing which really is definitely setting up the ground for major changes to happen to both the horde and the alliance controlled zones for example we know officially strong has been completely rebuilt it is only a matter of them adding this to the game they even built all the models
models, we have recently datamined some strong guards, some loader on shields that don't really seem to be related to anything that is currently going on. If you guys can follow the news, they have recently completely updated Zolgarab, connected it to some quest lines to Zandalar. Now, in the most recent build, we have discovered that they're also revamp him and bringing back old Naxxramas from Classic, as well as Colomans with new achievements, new mounts, new transmogs, which is once again just going to add some new flavor to the old world. Even more interestingly, we have datamined some hints of the same thing happening to the Scarlet Monastery. We know a part of the Scarlet Monastery graveyard has been updated for a Halloween event that has been confirmed, but there are other hints that point out that we may be getting a revamped instance called the Scarlet Monastery of Old. When we combine this with the other Scarlet Crusade shields that were also recently datamined, this could involve them as a faction and it is yet another hint of a revamp of the old world and Blizzard kind of fixing loose ends. Other than this, you might have heard that Dragon Knighting is going to be available everywhere on Azeroth and it is happening a lot sooner than everyone thought. They went through the effort of turning all the available Dragon Mounts to Dragon Knighting Mounts and they created brand new skeletons, new animations for this to happen. This not only updates the old world and the old mounts, but it also means that they might have to make some changes to the old zones that were not yet like compatible with dragon riding. I'm specifically referring to the area around the northern part of the eastern kingdoms, El Silvermoon, when you can't even fly with regular mounts. Would we combine this with new blood elven assets and the fact that they out of the blue included a random storyline where the blood elves are clearing out the remnants of the scourge out of quota last? It could be a hint for them updating the zone. This might even be the best news out of all of them as Silver Moon is really in such a sad state that it only might be rivaled by Nomrigan that doesn't even exist. So if you're following the news, these updates are seriously just happening all the time in really small increments, like all the time. And I don't think we even have to get a big world revamp expansion. Most of the revamp and the revamp work is going to happen in these minor patches behind the scenes. So an expansion could focus only on one continent, for example, the Eastern Kingdoms. And all of this is really good news as it's not really cool to have some zones with 2002 models models, especially for new players that are coming around to the game in 2023 and 2024. The only thing I'm worried about a bit is Blizzard talking about implementing AI and having AI create like actual in-game assets. While this might be a way for them to actually do a world revamp with a lot less resources, I'm not sure that is exactly going to work for the team and I'm really hope that it's just them talking about it, not actually like seriously considering it. However, overall there are just so many things hinting at the old world getting a fresh look, maybe not all at once but definitely over a long period of time. Thank you for watching, check out Illidan joining the Legion and Old Man Varian returning by clicking on the screen and check out Drones Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!